But first of all, let me welcome this guy. He's been away for a while on the couch, but he's still doing heaps of stuff. He's got three TV shows on the go. He's still a West Australian. His name is Trevor Cochran, and he's the Garden Guru. Welcome back. Thanks, mate. It's great to be back. It is nice to have you back. And like I said to you at the start, it is nice to know that you're still West Australian. Yeah. Now, we all know you from the Garden Gurus. Mm -hmm. How's that going, firstly? Well, Garden Gurus is great. We, we are currently... Um Midway through our autumn series of filming, um, the the program has just passed its 500th episode, which that's um, congratulations, is terrific. that's an amazing ten, ten years. It's it's um, a number of milestones. What is great is we're able to take uh, local people, local members of our team here, and uh, we film the program all over the world. So we filmed uh, from places like Canada and New York, and uh, presenters, uh, fantastic chef out of New York. Uh, terrific garden guru out of LA and we bring a huge amount of variety to the program. So for those people who don't watch television mm -hmm. and have seen you for the first time, tell us what they can see on Garden Gurus because we know it's gardening but there's more than just gardening. Well look, it's, it's primarily focused on local gardening. That's mm -hmm. really what we try and, and, and bring each week. So we film it all over the country and that's a, that's a big thing in itself, you know, the logistics of, of having a crew rolling around filming all the time, it's massive. And you do cooking as well? So we, we have elements of cooking, so we've had um, you know, World Pizza Champion, Theo Caligaraka, some people like that playing roles within program, but primarily it's actually all about showing people how easy gardening is. And, and look, let's be honest Fred, most people think that, oh, you know, unless you've got a green thumb, you can't do it. Well, I've got to tell you, it is the easiest thing and it's instinctual, it's natural. And is the whole show filmed here in WA for the whole of Australia? No, no, so we're filming in every state. So yep. uh, we've been world, filming this, this week in Melbourne and, and uh, then we have elements that we bring in. So we started the first episode of this series in yep. New Zealand, mm -hmm. um, in Ellerslie. Um, we are three weeks, we're, we're two weeks away from going to... Uh, South Korea to film one of the other series we do, which is called Explore, which is a travel show. Tell me about Explore, because I love travelling. Well, this, this, can... this is a great program. So I know you're going, is it North Korea you're we, going to? No, we're not going to North Korea, we're going to South, South Korea. South Korea, you was one which, or the other. Which, it... which either one, just I don't at know the which moment, one's is, better at the moment. Is, uh, is, is a little bit concerning. But look, um, we're going to film um, in South Korea. It's our third time we've filmed in South Korea. Yep. Uh, we are going to visit a couple of gardens, but really this is more about the food, the culture, many of the experiences that you can have. So I'll be um, parasailing off uh, Jeju Island in the south, um, scuba diving, we're doing some, um, some adventure scuba diving and things like that. So it's a really different program. And I believe you've got another show coming up on Channel 7 here in Perth as well. That's right. So um, we're 7 in Perth, it's called Green Fingers, and this is a real hands-on local gardening program. But we, with the first series of Green Fingers, what we did was we built a series of what I called sustainability classrooms. So we built four of them, fifty, sixty thousand dollar classrooms. They have aquaponics in them, they have chickens, they have vegetables, they have a food forest, um, berry beds, but they also have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea is that this becomes an area for students who may not necessarily learn the same way um, that a lot of kids can theoretically in a classroom environment. This gives them a chance to be hands practical on. and hands on. And we've, we've already done four of them, unbelievably successful. The schools that have got them are just beside themselves with the success rate. And they're talking about improved academic results as well as um, taking some kids who are only academically orientated and giving them some really good ground natural skills. Now, Trevor, with three shows on the go, mm -hmm. when do you sleep? Because you must be very busy. I mean, oh, how do you keep your passion we've there? We've got this gap between 1 and 4 a.m., which is fantastic. When you, you come here. enjoy it, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we work really, really hard. But um, I've always got, a, got a great team. A very small team, but a very, very dedicated team. We work so hard at what we do. And um, we get support from the various industries that we work with to be able to Pull it off, Fred. You know how I'd hard have to it say is. you're a very successful West Australian because not only you're West Australian, you're Australian and international now. Mm. Garden Guru is on the Nine Network and NBN. Uh, yep, which is the regional affiliate. Yes, you've got TBW Seven here in Perth with the Green Fingers, mm -hmm. and you've got is it the Nine Network Explore? And it's Nine Network with Explore. That is amazing for one person from WA to do so well. So it sort of leaves the the doors open for someone like me. You need me to come to South Korea with you as a security guard. I was about to say, what are you like with the old um, Psy sort of moves? Can you think you could do well, something there? Look, I, I'm more of the flattening type person. I mean, if I fall on you, you'll probably know it. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, I, I can't wait. Garden Gurus, tell us when it's on, when people want to watch it. OK, so we're every Saturday on the Nine Network um, at 4.30. Which is 2.30 at, in Perth. That's right. Um, uh, sorry, no, it's, it's uh, on GEM in Perth and Adelaide, uh, nationally through, through GEM. Yep. Um, and that's at 1.30 on Saturdays. Okay, and Perth time, 1.30? Yep. On a Sunday? Yes. And uh, the Explore series will come up in November this year. Mm -hmm. I can't quite tell you the time. time. Yeah, I think it's we'll going to be four to five, but we'll, we'll let you know. And the one on Channel 7 Perth as well, Green Fingers? When okay. Is, do we and we, that kick, we kick off in October and it'll be 5.30 on Sundays um, and leading to the 7 News. Now, you've got a fantastic uh, mechanism, I think, with all your programming. I mean, I know this is a fantastic magazine that's out now. It's called The Garden Gurus. Tell me about that. That's, that's a quarterly magazine. Okay, it's a quarterly magazine. It's Look, it's all about those inspirational things. So uh, we have regular segments mm. within it. But one of the, the stories in this particular edition at the moment is about how the old traditional garden club has pretty much died off now. You know, once upon a time, you'd go to the town hall on the last Thursday of the month, every month. Get and together. Some expert would stand up there and talk authoritatively on geraniums and then everybody would have a cup of tea and a scone and they'd all head home. Well, these days, it's all done by social media. So we have a, we have a Garden Guru's social media website. Yep. Um, but we have all these clubs that are all friends and that's the great thing about the network thing. So... We have some amazing stories that come out. They're replicated in, in some of the things that we do within magazines. So some of the people who are writing are just mm -hmm. really interesting home gardeners who are doing some really cool things. So it's things. not just Trevor and his mates that's on the back. No, there. no, it's, it's not just the presenters from the TV team. series. Yeah. Um, it's, it's the general public. And yep. it's a chance for everybody to share their ideas. And I love the fact that you've made gardening available to people who thought they could never garden. It's made simple. It's, look, it's for people like me that kill off every Fred, plant. this is the thing. This is what I'm trying to tell you, is that anybody can do it. It's instinctual. And, look, you know, if, if you are not sure what to do, maybe start off growing a tomato or something like that. You know, it's taking those easy things and turning them into something where you can actually really go, wow, this is great. Have you thought of maybe doing what those cooking classes do and running gardening classes here in Perth well, or Australia-wide? Well, I can't get anybody to join me between that gap between 1am and... Yeah. It might be a hard yeah, time. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the couch. They're telling me our time is up again. Don't forget Garden Gurus on the Nine Network Australia, but you can catch it on GEM, 1.30pm Perth time, which is two hours later. It's about 3.30pm, I would assume, on GEM. Nationally on the Nine Network, which you'll find GEM, I think it's 90 Channel mm. 990. You can also catch TVW Channel 7 here in Perth in October. You've got green fingers, but check out their website, which is thegardengurus.com. Am I right there? Dot .com or dot .tv. Yeah. Dot .tv. Both, both will but get just you Google it. We'll it's on screen right now, actually. There you go. And they've got a Facebook page and they've got so much going on. It is always nice to catch up in those three or four hours he's got there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Trevor, for being on the show today. Thanks for having us here, Where Fred. can we get the Garden Guru magazine? And you'll find that in News Agents Everywhere. Beautiful. Garden Gurus magazine, News Agents Everywhere. I've got my copy, so I don't really care about you. But you can't have that one. Thank you very much and good luck with everything you do and keep doing local TV, which is great. Thanks, mate.